commute day. And I should be going to the airport to commute into Knoxville for the beginning of my trip that starts tomorrow. But I left my sunglasses at the restaurant that Heather, myself, and a friend ate at last night. So I have to wait till they open so I can go pick them up. I won't be home for another 10 days, and that's two trips back to back. I really don't want to go flying for a week and a half without my sunglasses. Sunglasses were recovered uh, from, from Hagen O'Reilly's, so that's good. So I finally made it into base in Knoxville. I don't work today, I start work tomorrow, but I had to get here today because I start work at like 4 a.m. I've never been much of a morning person. I'm also not much of a night person. I think I just like sleep. One of the problems I had when I started this job is that there's not a lot of good information about the process of becoming an airline pilot. And the information that does exist, a lot of the times comes from some really, often comes from some really bad sources. There's a lot of good websites out there with information on interview gouges and what to study and how to prepare, but the actual aspects of the airline pilot life are kind of muddled. In, in today's day and age, you would think with as much technology as we have available to us, the things that go along with it, all the pain points, all the considerations, everything. So today I want to talk about one of the big aspects of my job, and that is commuting. Um, there's really not a lot of information on commuting out there, other than it sucks. I'm a commuter. Not only am I a commuter, but since I have been with my airline, I've been a double leg commuter, meaning that I have to take two flights, a connection, to get to base. That's insane it's madness and it's been this way for me since december out of choice because you see where i live the city i live in has no crew base for any regional airline out there i'm getting at the fact that commuting is not bad for heather and i we went back and forth on whether we were moving to base a lot before we actually settled on not moving to base there was a point where we were weeks away from signing a lease, and we wound up not doing that. When deciding whether or not to move to my crew base, Heather and I had to think about what it is we do in our free time, who our friends are, where they are, the activities that we enjoy and that we do and that make us us. And all those things are where we live right now. If I was single and not married, it might be a different story. I don't know, I still really like where I live, and I think the benefit of this job is being able to live where you like to live, where you want to live. Heather and I don't have a kid, but another consideration was if we did have a kid or if you'd have kids, 
uh, taking them away from their schools and their friends and everything they know and love can be really hard on them too. And regional airlines aren't the most stable. If the economy takes a downturn, some of our crew bases will get closed. And Knoxville might very well be one of those. I think I think commuting is a very personal thing. It's a personal decision. It's a decision about uh, you and you and your partner and your family if you have a partner and a family. But don't discount it, and don't let the don't let the angry people online tell you not to commute, or that you're stupid for commuting, or that commuting is awful because it really isn't. Commuting has a lot of benefits, and it's one of the things that makes this job as good as it is. Hey, the movie's over, but before you go, are you interested in becoming a pilot? If you are, check out First Landings Aviation in Apopka, Florida, www.firstlandings.com for safe, fun, affordable flight training.